related acute angle or reference angle. An acute angle between terminal arm of an angle in standard position and the horizontal x-axis is called related acute angle. It has a positive value between 0 and 90 degrees or 0 and pi by 2. So, so that is for those who are doing in radians, right? Question 2. Find related acute angle for theta equals to minus 162 degrees or minus 9 pi by 10. So let's see where this principal angle theta lies on the coordinate plane. So let's draw one. So 162 degrees minus. Minus means you have to go clockwise, correct? And if you go clockwise, from here it is 90 and then it is 180. So 162 is short of 180, correct? So it will be kind of here, right? Let's draw this. And that is this angle from here to here minus 162 degrees, correct? Now when we say related acute angle, then we are trying to figure out how much is the angle, so this is the principal arm, how much is the angle between principal arm and the horizontal x-axis, that means this angle. Let me call it alpha. So that is the related acute angle. So this is our positive x-axis, that is y, and minus 162 will be clockwise. Initial arm will always be along the x-axis, and the terminal arm is here in quadrant 3. So you can figure out how much is the related acute angle alpha. So alpha is equal to 180 degrees minus 160 degrees, 162 degrees, correct? So that is the related acute angle. So you can use your calculator and then figure out the answer. So 180 minus 162 equals to 18 degrees, correct? So it becomes 18 degrees. So that is the related acute angle. Now, some of my students have problem doing this because they think 180 minus minus 162 gives them a huge positive value. So don't get confused. Think you come here and now if you are seeing from this half, then that angle is 180 minus this angle, right? Use absolute values, okay? Now, those of you who are doing in radians, for them, minus 9 pi by 10. So that means this pi is divided into 10 parts. Minus 9 means you have already covered 9, right? So it is minus 9 pi by 10 will mean from here to here, you have covered 9 parts out of 10. So what is left for you is the angle between horizontal and the terminal arc and that is pi by 10. Correct? Do you see that? So you can get your answer pi by 10 quickly. Or you can do the same way. That is pi minus 9 pi by 10 which gives you 10 pi by, let me do it here, 10 pi minus 9 pi by 10, which is pi by 10, correct? So, we're trying to solve these questions in both radians and degrees so that all students can learn from it. Thank you.